Yo, so today I'm just gonna teach you very quickly how to get Square Dead Zone because I get this asked a lot in my server. So there's four ways of doing it straight away. Uh, console players can only get Square Dead Zone with a controller that has a built-in Square Dead Zone. That's about it. Before we get into it, I want to make sure that you understand why you would want to make the switch to Square Dead Zone. So I'm going to teach you very, very quickly the reason why you want to switch to Square Dead Zone. If you want more information about Square Dead Zone, how to tweak it to feel it the way you want it to, then we'll get into that in another video. But for now, I'm just going to teach you the basic reasons why you would want to switch. <music> So before you even switch to Square Dead Zone, you first have to understand the limitations of cross and circle dead zone. So whenever you move your stick around in circles, you'll see this input. So these are the real inputs that the game registers. And just a little disclaimer, every single controller that you use will have different little inputs around here. So right now I'm going to connect a couple of controllers and you'll just have to see the difference between each shape just so that you understand that every controller has a different feel. And once you understand that, we can go into why you would need to switch to a square dead zone in your case. Now I have the PS5 controller connected and now you'll notice that there's a slight change. It doesn't change as much here, but you will notice that the amount of inputs that connect with the bottom line in the inputs square is a lot larger. And so a lot more will connect with that input line. So that's important to remember. There's this bottom line where the input is fully a backflip or a full input down. And here there's a full input to the right and here's a full input up. And so there's a lot more or not a lot, but slight change in the amount of inputs that are full side inputs or forwards inputs or back inputs. And so now I'll connect my Thrustmaster controller. So now I have my Thrustmaster controller connected. One thing you'll notice straight away is one, the inputs are way more consistent. So this controller specifically is very good at controlling the amount of inputs, full inputs you have on the side, down, right, and up. So it's gonna be very, very consistent in, in the directions at which you can move your stick to get specific inputs. So that is very good, but still it doesn't change as much. You will notice in your controller, maybe, if you wanna try this plugin, uh, you will notice a slight difference between each controller. So now, now let's get into the limitations. So the reason why most people want to switch to Square Dead Zone is because they constantly struggle controlling their flip cancels. And you see every freestyler being able to do this insane flip cancels and you just can't control it. You just try and do flip cancels, but they don't work as good as you want them to. So basically, you first need to understand what flip cancels are and how they work before you even do the switch to square. So a flip cancel has two criteria. So in order to control a flip cancel, as you're canceling, you have to first do a perfect front flip. That's the first criteria. So if you don't do a perfect front flip, it will be a diagonal input. And if it's a diagonal input, you won't be able to control the cancel as well. So when you do diagonal inputs, notice how if I do a diagonal cancel, I really can't use my, my arrow till the cancel is complete. There we go. So it's not until I, I am done with the cancel that it turns back into the position I want it to. And now the second criteria for flip cancels is that you need to have a full backflip input in the case of front flip cancels. If you want to do a backflip cancels, of course, you'll need a full front flip input. So when you have a front flip and you combine it with 
full backflip input, you'll notice that at some point here, you don't actually have the full backflip input. So really, you can't cancel over here. So you only have this little amount of space to actually do the cancel properly. And now the second thing you'll notice is that if you want to make your front flips or your back flips, so the first criteria a little bit more consistent, what you'll usually want to do is you'll usually want to increase your controller dead zone. So if I increase my controller dead zone, this is something you do for stalls to get them more consistently. You increase your controller dead zone to get them more consistently. And now what you'll notice is that the area I have to do perfect front flips and perfect back flips increases because I'm going to be more so I'm going to be more consistent with them. However, the area of full backflip inputs and full front flip inputs decreases. So now I have this amount of area to work with to actually control my cancels to the right or to the left as I'm canceling. I, I am filling two criteria. I am filling the perfect front flip and I am doing a full backflip input, but the amount of area I have to actually control the input to control the inputs around here is so little so I can't really move my stick to the side see how little it moves and if I do a cancel and even if it's a tiny bit to the right it will on cancel so I need to maintain a full backflip input right now there we go so it's very hard for me to actually move my car to the left or to the right so that's basically the reason why you want square dead zone because you're giving up all this space to work with all of this little inputs to the side where you can actually do a flip cancel and control the flip cancel they are you're missing out on all of those inputs so that's why you would want a square dead zone so let's get a square dead zone so now that i have square dead zone what you'll notice is even if i have the 0.40 controller dead zone now I am actually able to do a cancel, fulfill the two criteria. So now I can do a perfect front flip a little bit more consistently. So I can move my stick up very, very consistently to one side. I can also move it in any direction to the side and it will be very, very consistent. But I'm also able to move my stick to the left and to the right and do and fulfill those two criteria. So now I can cancel and move my car to the right or to the left. Of course, some people say that it's because you want to feel fast whenever you're using Errol. First of all, you shouldn't be really be using free Errol <laughs> if you want to freestyle. Every freestyler always uses dedicated Errols. So if you're going to try and learn something like this, just make the switch. It doesn't make sense keeping uh, free Errol if you're going to start learning this kinds of complicated stuff. So first of all, just switch. And yeah, it's mostly just because of that. That's why pro players don't really care about that. I mean, they don't need it. And free sellers, they do care about flip cancels and making sure that you control your flip as you're doing soft. Control your flip and arrow at the same time. In a diagonal flip, you can't really control the amount of arrow that you use. So, for console players, you have pretty much only two options, unfortunately. The first option is get a controller that has built-in square dead zone. Now, from what I know, the DualSense Edge, the PlayStation DualSense Edge, doesn't have square dead zone, so that's a shame. Hopefully they add it because it's a really good controller. But we also have the Thrustmaster. The Thrustmaster has a built-in square dead zone. It's what make it makes it such a good controller. So the Thrustmaster, all you have to do is connect it to your PC, download the Thrust Mapper app, and once you have it in there, the only thing you have to do is a simple click of a button, saving the profile, and you will have Square Dead Zone. That's it. Now, when you don't have Square Dead Zone, what can you do in order to get the same inputs? So if you can't have Square Dead Zone and you can't afford a controller that has built-in Square Dead Zone, what you can do is you can find a balance between having a low controller dead zone and 
a high one just to get some consistent front flips and back flips. And then once you have that, you can actually just increase the aerial sensitivity to the right or to the left so that you can start moving your car a lot in those directions. So instead of just relying entirely on, on getting uh, very slow cancels or not even need, being able to cancel, you can get the cancels and also just move your stick a little and get the entire movement available there. Bad thing is you're gonna have a little bit less space to work with for this to work, but it's still a good solution to doing something like this. If you go past that, it won't cancel like this, of course. So make sure you just get the flip right there. Now the second way to get square dead zone and the one I recommend the most is using the Steam controller configuration. If you're on Epic, you can still do this. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can add Epic Games to your Steam library, run Epic Games through Steam and use the Steam configuration. Uh, that is just a thing you can do on your own, but once you have it there, you should be able to do what I'm doing just now. So basically all you have to do is connect your controller and you'll just go to Steam, you'll go to Settings, you'll go to Controller, you'll go to General Controller Settings, and now the only thing you have to do is whichever controller you have here, you'll just enable the support, configuration support for that controller. So in my case, I have PS5 DualSense Edge controller at the moment, or a Thrustmaster, so I just enable both. And now you'll go to your library, you'll do a right click on your game, you'll go to manage and you'll go to controller layout. If this doesn't appear, you just have to enable the controller configuration in Steam settings. I don't know how to do that, but there's a little uh, thing there to enable this. You'll, you'll just have to find it. So you'll just have to click here. This will pop up. So now that you're here, the only thing you have to do is you'll have to make sure that the template that is enabled is the official layout for Rocket League legacy bindings. So it has to be legacy. If you have any other thing, it won't work correctly. So you need legacy. Once you're here, you'll still have cross dead zone. And the way you check that is using the joystick self check that I used. Uh, you will still have cross dead zone. Now, so now to get square dead zone, the only thing you have to do is go to edit layout, joysticks. You'll go to the left joystick, press on the gear button, then go to here on output. And here, what you'll see is you'll see, there we go. So dead zone type. Here you'll click, you'll go to custom, and now you'll have all these things you can change. And you'll just change to square dead zone. Um, if you want me to show you what every setting means and why you would want to uh, control these settings, I can show you that in another video, but it's super, super important that you understand every setting so that you can get back the feel of your cross dead zone. So this is basically it for a square dead zone with Steam. You just have to go back. Once you're back in here, what I recommend you do is you go to the gear bar here and you export the layout. Once you have exported the layout or the template, you just have to use that template and there it is. Just close it and you should have square dead zone. Now, the third way of getting controller dead zone is to basically use DS4 windows. You can only use DS4 windows if you have a PlayStation controller. Just keep that in mind. And well, if you have Steam configuration, might as well use that. But still, there's a lot of things you can do in the DS4 configuration that will be worth the change. So 
it depends on the type of field that you want. So if you open DS4, you basically go to edit and right here, you just have to enable square stick. That's it. Now there's a bunch of things you can change here. Um, the one, the first one I recommend you change is the dead zone. You change it to zero and you do that through Rocket League. And once you do that through Rocket League, it will make it so that you have more consistent flips. So just change that and every other setting, I can show you what it means later on. But for now, I think you should be good just changing this. And now one thing about DS4 that you have to know is that you will get double inputs. So when you get double inputs, you will have like a first player and second player show up in your screen if you press your start. And the only thing you have to do is you just have to download this little height, hit height configuration client. So once you're here, the only thing you have to do is disable one of the controllers that is giving you the double inputs. And since DS4 is emulating a controller inside of your PC, you just have to disable your real controller and enable or leave unchecked the emulated controller from DS4. That's about it. And now I have Square Dead Zone with DS4. Now, the fourth way of changing to Square Dead Zone and the more unconventional way of changing to Square Dead Zone is using Durasno Squared. I found this a couple years ago. Uh, it's not bad, but the thing about this is that Durasno Squared, I believe, changes the dead zones and sensitivity files from in the game so it's it works but you have to be careful because as it changes all of that if you don't download it correctly if you don't use the app correctly if you don't delete profiles correctly you will find yourself struggling a bit to get it off your pc but it works perfectly fine i've used it it works very well but it is a bit of a pain to deal with at times so still an option still an option if all the others don't work for you this could still work for you it's something